beautiful sunflower with a nice purple flower and a bee on top. So start with a quick drawing and uh, I am going to add white, yellow, orange, purple and blue. So for the yellow sunflower I'm going to use just the yellow color first for drawing and start to mention about the center of sunflower. Imagine this is here should be and the stem and leaves are covered here the bottom of my canvas and just add the petals randomly for drawing to have an idea where is the place of each petals it, it shouldn't um, be exact drawing right now I just mentioned about the place because I'm going to start work on the background first and then uh, come on top and add the details of flowers and the rest just so far adding a little bit drawing shape the petals to have an idea this is the flower petals and just add a tone to have an idea and then separate it from the background that's easier to finish the background and then move on uh, for making perfect the flowers and the leaves the stems and everything okay so just the stem uh, just the petals of flower I'm going to add and I'm not adding any bee in on top here to cover the background then the bee I will come on top and the other things that I'm going to add a little bit maybe not because it's everything is purple after i adding the background i'm going to add the purple flower here so now we can make a little bit the background color so the background color is feeling of light purple and light blue so we have purple and blue but it's not much light so take some white purple mix them together And then again take some white mix with the blue color so we have pure red and blue and we have the mixture of uh, light of them both so I apply on the background with the bigger size of brush so start with pure purple and I know it's uh, really dark so at the same time I'm going to add lighter purple but you know that this is very nice and gently mixed together give me beautiful results then I just go with the light purple I prefer to go with different value that's so helpful to have a nice painting and my brush stroke is just left and right like that like a plus or like an x shape x shape or plus and i try to take heavy paint and make a lovely texture on top When I'm going close to the um, petals of sunflower, I try to use tip off brush, which is easier to control and not to go inside the shape of petals. And the other reason I really happy to go with heavy paint is so easy to cover the white of canvas and get rid of that white canvases so it's better to go with heavy paint and not let this white canvas be visible under the paint thing so 
so I don't want to let it dry I would like to bring some light blue in between and try to fade this light blue into the purple it has already light blue in between the feeling is so important so when you bring this bluey tone its effect on purpley background which is so lovely and when we work with heavy paint so it takes really time to get dry and it's now okay to add blue at the same time when the purple is wet pure purple and I'm going to use a little bit of this purple a little blue to make it darker and filling blue into that just a bit black and helpful just a tiny bit to make the color a little more dark it depends how much blue and how much purple you add you can change the color toward more purpley or bluey I think I'm okay with this color so with a smaller brush I'm going to take this one with the squareness of this flat brush just randomly start adding small brush stroke on top of this background heavy paint try to bring heavy texture on top even in between a little bit black can affect to make it more dark or even pure blue but this is a, fa a fallow blue and uh, I don't want to bring it in between it changed the value of the flowers the color of flowers and I'm going to take heavy paint and try to let this heavy paint sit on top and make a texture which is so lovely after we finish with the bluey and dark tone I'm going to move with the purple in between bring heavy paint with less pressure help the wet surface not <coughs> move to each other and just sit each color on the space that it need and then clean the brush some light blue is interesting to bring in between and on top So it's fade um, to the background this flower it's purple as well so try to add some nice stroke and let the uh, let this color fade into the background so this is good about hydrangeas and then I can start adding the color for sunflower then move on to stem and leaves and then B
Now for sunflower, I'm going to clean the brush that I used before. I just go with heavy paint, pure yellow color. Now it's okay to add more heavy paint with texture on top of the canvas. Even in between, I can bring some orangey tone and let it blend together because uh, there is not just the yellow color that make the sunflower. There is a lots of orange tone is visible for that. So we can use a uh, yellow color, we can use white color for the lightness and even the orange. I'm just going the pure colors, not mix them together because I can use um, white on top of yellow and make the light tone. And even we can use uh, orange on top of yellow and make uh, the light orange color. So it's okay if we handle it by adding the exact paint, not just the mixture. And if you see, I use a really less pressure in my hand and try to help these uh, colors sit on top of each other and make this lovely and nice texture. So even in, in close to the center, I think it's darker. So I need to bring some more uh, brownie tone, which is a reddish brown. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow. Reddish brown, I mean, it's yellow and burnt sienna. that close to center which is this black it's okay to use that and more orange so again back to heavy paint I just very gently try to move on this heavy paint everywhere that I need. white color for some light tone the edges when we work such light color like that it's really take time to get dry because it's so thick so we need to wait everything completely get dry not touch the painting and before adding this part of the flower, I prefer to bring the blacky color before because some petals will come on top of the dark color. So because of that, I prefer to start adding the black color first.
So before that, with a smaller brush, I'm going to add, first of all, this dark brown, because the center is so dark. Even when it's connect to the petals, a little bit feeling of brown is affect a lot. So I'm going to use this one first, even on the center. And then clean the brush, pure black. Try to set this pure black on the center. Make it heavy with texture. That's the center of sunflower. And then clean the brush very well. Move on for the rest with lighter tone. So even the black is so wet, so I'm not touching that because it's it's get dirty my uh, yellow. I try to help it heavy paint very gently, come around close to the black, and sit on top. Even the pure white color close to that, just very gently I touch it. Heavy paint, very texture, with less pressure, just try to help this heavy paint sit on, on the canvas. Actually, it's not mandatory to make the thickness and heavy paint. It depends. I really love to make this heavy texture on top, which is lovely. When you bring gently heavy texture, after it gets dry, you touch it and you can feel this heavy paint on top, which is so lovely. But as I mentioned, it's not mandatory. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. But we need to be very gently, very careful, not touch everything, not touch uh, with, with pressure because it can lift up the first thing. And you can see how much color I bring on top without any lifting up the others. So that's enough. I think would be okay. Now I can add... Before adding the green uh, stem and leaves, I would like to go through the B. So with a smaller brush, or maybe it's better to go with pointy brush. So, uh, because I'm not touching this part, it's get really wet, it, it's need to wait everything dry. And actually it's finished, we don't need to work more than this. I just go with black color with small brush, try to uh, make the shape of B to draw it on top. This is the head. And it's connect to the body, it's like in Gentle C curve.
and then uh, clean the brush with napkin little blue back to black to fade this blue even the eye with a white color can affect on the tail to make it lighter clean the brush very well now move on with yellow there's a nice part of the body which is yellow even here a little orange too with texture you can touch and feel even on this part of the head So with the yellow a little bit then take some white here is more lighter tone we see and we need uh, some more white color for wing as well Again, with heavy white color, try to shape the wing. The front is bigger, the back is smaller, shorter. And even some reddish brown for this part front. So this is our B, and then we have flowers, we have B, we have uh, everything that we need. So just the stand. Now I would like to start working on the uh, leaves and stem. I have green, I add a little yellow ochre, we already have brown and black. So I can mix white, uh, the light green and the dark green. So with this one I'm going to take yellow, yellow ochre I mean, and then white. Mix with it to reach lighter green color. We can use pure green as well. And this is lighter green. Then clean the brush, take a little bit green again, and then mix with black. Black can affect on the paint and make it darker, or even if you want to make it warmer, this uh, reddish brown can make it warm as well. So dark color, mid-tone color, and the light tone color. Now we can apply on canvas. So with one flat brush, it's so helpful because with the tip of flat brush, you can draw the stem. I'm going to start with darker tone. I just would like to cover some green color around the uh, the branch, uh, the 
sorry, these pedals. Randomly, I'm not say it's a specific thing, just some leaves are under the um, this uh, stem, the under the the, the pedals. This is a stem. And it's connected to some leaves. And in between, I'm going to bring some pure color and even the light color as well to add some nice movement. Even for stem, I can add some more light tone as well. We need light and dark in our painting. Just add some green in between the pedals and even from here we can bring it up to show there are some green or cover this space which is so lovely and nice. But be careful when you bring it on top of a hydrangeas. We need to use heavy texture, not blend it a lot. I think would be enough, we don't need to overwork on our painting because when you work a lot, sometimes it happens that you overwork I don't want to happen that would be enough yep, the green is enough, the leaves are, are okay a little bit on hydrangeas is fine too I mean, maybe a little lighter tone we need to bring oopsie, this is so watery Okay, that's fine. You can call our painting down. Hope you enjoy it of this beautiful, lovely painting. Thanks so much for joining me.